This episode is brought to you in part by Hybrid Light. Durable, environmentally friendly, and guaranteed for life. Visit hybridlight.com. And Sheffield Financial. Specialized equipment financing for work, play, and everything in between. Visit sheffieldfinancial.com. 5 a.m. can't come soon enough for folks like these. There's more than just a job to do so they hit their knees. They sure take pride in everything they do. There's no challenge that they won't work through. So they tirelessly keep going on. Their fingers to the bone. They spend way too much time to build and away from home. You can be sure they know what all this hard work is for. So now we honor you as legends, legends of the outdoors. Hey folks, for this episode, we're here at Blue Bank Resort at Real Foot Lake. We're with my guest, Billy Blakely. Billy is the head guide for Blue Bank Resort and our co-host, Abby Joe. We're proud to be here. Billy, thanks, man, for having us. Hey, anytime. I enjoy every minute, every time you come down. Well, tell us a little bit about the history of Real Foot Lake. I know you've lived here all your life. Well, there's an earthquake back and started in December of 1811. Went to February of 1812, a series of earthquakes, but the big one, February of 1812, and they're supposed to shook church bells plumb up to Boston. I wouldn't want to be here back in when that happened, but it caused the Mississippi River to run backwards for three days. The water spilling over the lake, land sunk down, water spilt over, and that created the lake. And as you know, it had to already be a swamp for all the cypress to be here, and it's 14 million stumps out there, and I hit just about every one of them, I think. <laughs> Well, I know that there's a lot of stumps out there and there's a lot of old logs laying out there and none of that ever rots because the water very rarely ever gets over, out from over it. But this evidently had to be, as you said, it had to be a cypress forest because of all the trees that are under the water. Yep. But it's created a really unique fishery, hasn't it? It really has. I mean, it ain't no other place on earth like it. No water skiers, no jet skiers, just strictly hunting and fishing. And I know Abby and I was talking about it earlier about all the great things that you can do here at Real Foot Lake, hunting and fishing, like you said, the sightseeing here, yeah, bike beautiful. riding, kayaking, yeah. you know, all that type of stuff that you guys offer right here at the resort, plus some of the finest food that you'll ever eat. It was and, good. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but Billy, you've been a long time, lifetime guide here on the lake. Yes, sir. Uh, not only for fishing, but for waterfowl hunting. And you've seen this lake com completely froze over. Yes, sir. And you've seen it so hot that uh, it's hard to get out there and fish, but this lake always produces, it seems like, to me, good fishing and good waterfowl hunting. Uh, the state, they do a study on the lake, and I think the last one that I've heard from numbers is like 2,750 pounds of fish per acre. Wow. Now, that's a lot of fish per that acre is, of that water. That is a lot of fish. You know, a lot of people don't know this, but Real Foot Lake is just, what, a mile from Mississippi River? Yes, sir. So the waterfowl that comes down through here are on the Mississippi Flyway. Uh, they kind of come down through here and uh, winter right here, don't they? Yes, sir. We have a lot of ducks. We've got refuges on every side of the lake, on the south end, on the west side, on the, all the way around the north end. Them ducks cross real foot just about every day. If you have any kind of weather at all, especially like today, I'd like to be out there in a blind day, but a front like this is real good for duck hunting. For folks that don't duck out, you've still got a lot to offer for them because you've got sightseeing, eagle tours. Yes, sir. Oh, there's a ton of bald eagles that come here every winter. Every winter. Some of them stay here all year and nest, don't yeah. they? So you've got a ton of bald eagles, pelicans, and of course that old bird we both dislike, the Colorado. Oh, yeah. White herons, blue herons, all kinds of shorebirds, and lots of uh, flowers and vegetation all around the lake. It makes this one of the prettiest lakes in the country. And as you were talking a while ago, some of these cypress trees are 300 years old all around the edge of this lake. Every tree in that water is over 209, 10 years old because they had to be here before the lake because they can't grow from the bottom of the lake up. So they was here before. 
And that's a lot of old trees, which we'll see a lot of them tomorrow. I was gonna ask you what's your favorite fish to catch on this lake? My favorite fish is bluegill, awesome. by far. Billy and I both share that passion. They're yeah. really big here. A lot of adults will say, oh, I don't want to go fish for them little fish till you get them out there, and then they don't want to go home. Yeah, really then, no, you let them hook at first when they say, well, we'll be okay with you. <laughs> and <laughs> they come right. back. Well, we're looking for a good time while we're here. We're going to be here several days enjoying Real Foot Lake. This is one of my favorite places on, on God's green earth, and I love coming here. We thank the Hayes family for hosting uh, this event and for some of our other upcoming events, and we look forward to being here. Folks, come on back after these commercials and enjoy the rest of this episode from Billy Blakely, Blue Bank Resort. Hey, Abby, I want to tell you about a really neat contest that we're running on Legends of the Outdoors TV for our sponsor, Hybrid Lights. Anyone that's watching our show after episode six can go on hybridlight.com and say, I seen the light or I found the light. Yeah. Every episode, we're going to have a hybrid light somewhere in that episode. And when you see it, you click on hybridlight.com and tell them that you seen the light and where you seen it at. And that will automatically put you in for a contest where one winner will win a great box full of hybrid light products. Wow, whoever wins is lucky. <laughs> they are lucky. And I tell you what, this is some of the neat products. You can charge your phone with these. Wow. They charge, most of their products charged by solar or through a, plugging them into the wall through a USB port or just a straight plug. So hybridlights.com, click on it and find out all about the Legends of the Outdoor TV. I found the light. Tired of pushing that old lawnmower? Don't go another season without the equipment you need to do the jobs that are important to you. At Sheffield Financial, we specialize in helping our customers get what they need. The easy application and fast approval process makes financing your outdoor power equipment easy. Don't go another season without the equipment you need. Check out SheffieldFinancial.com today. This segment is brought to you in part by Mossy Oak. No one knows hunters like Mossy Oak. Visit MossyOak.com. And Frog Togs. Breathable, affordable, and lightweight. Visit frogtogs.com. Well, Abby, we're here at Blue Bank Resort, and you know, this is one of my favorite places on Real Foot Lake to stay. Yeah, it, it is awesome. But the history of Real Foot Lake is very unique. And you know, for 16 and a half years, I was the director of tourism for all of this area including Kentucky Lake, Real Foot Lake, the Mississippi River on this side in Tennessee. And I went from I-40 to almost uh, to the Kentucky state line. So I've gotten to know a lot of the great people over here over the years and working with them through tourism and through bringing outdoor riders and, and people hunting and fishing here. Uh, and not only to Blue Bank, but to some of the other resorts here as well. Maybe now that we're here, we're gonna be fishing with uh, some really great friends and Legends Outdoors Hall of Fame members and future Legends Outdoors Hall of Fame members, you know, Billy Blakely, mm -hmm. Charlie Brewer Jr., yeah. uh, Will Fowler, and uh, Steve Coleman. Yeah, some icons. <laughs> some icons in the fishing industry, and we're gonna be fishing with those guys and talking to them and getting their stories as we continue the Legends of the Outdoors TV. Thanks for bringing us out this evening. Man, any time. I enjoy this. When did you start guiding? Uh, I started all this one back when I was in high school, about 14 years old. That's a few years ago, because I know you're a bit older than 14 now. <laughs> Just a couple years. <laughs> but you know, you started guiding here on Real Foot, but you've been fishing Real Foot for a long, long time, hadn't you? Yes, sir. Ever since I was in diapers, been out here with Daddy and anybody that had a boat that let me in it, I would go. And then you got hooked up with the Mike Hayes at Blue Bank Resort, which is one of the largest resorts here on Real Foot Lake. And uh, how did that come about? Well, his daddy owned a fish market down there and I got to running around when I was about 12, 13 years old. Anytime you could make a dollar, you made it back in. And of course they had all these trucks coming in loading and unloading fish. So I'd help them load trucks, unload trucks, anything I could do for a dollar, go clean fish or whatever. And then you get down there hanging around these boat docks and people go talking about fishing, which right on, that's right down my alley. <laughs> One thing led to another and asked, would I take them fishing? Well, yeah. 
Well, they get in, they give you money. So there went a light bulb. That man going to pay me, take me, take him fishing. I'm going to take him fishing. <laughs> That's right. So it started from there. That same thing kind of happened to me over on Kentucky Lake. I had been uh, working for a company and a lot of their guys had come in for meetings and stuff and they knew I had a boat and they'd say, well, hey, would you take us fishing this afternoon after we all get off work? And I'd say, yeah, you know, and they'd tip me or pay me some money. And same thing, as you said, the light come on. One day I thought, you know, I can make a, a living doing this. You started guiding waterfowl hunting as well. Yes, sir. The same thing, uh, Mike and them, there's all of them. I've watched all them boys come up from the day they was born. I've been with Mike since uh, for 39 years now. And we've done everything, some of it right, some of it wrong, but we have done everything. Hunt, fish together, and made built up a heck of a business there, as you can see on everything. Meet a lot of good people, bad one every now and then, but a lot of great ones. Right, well, and you've got a lot of outdoor celebrities. Even some of our Hall of Fame members uh, has, has fished and hunted with you, like Tommy Aiken. Steve McAdams, uh, Charlie Burr Jr., just to mention a few. Yeah, it's been a lot of great ones. I've took some of the biggest names in fishing. Denny Breyer, Bill Dent, Kevin Van Dam, yeah. even Charles Grigsby. I mean, I've, all them boys have fished with me. Well, man, I know you've got a lot of great stories, and, of course, you're fishing on and hunting on one of the most beautiful lakes in the nation, in my opinion. What a great place for a young man to grow up. It is. I mean, it's strictly a lot of fishing and hunting out here, no water skiing. You don't see no jet skis, no water skis, and nothing like that. I mean, it's just a good old fishing and hunting lake, and I've took advantage of it. Made a real good living off of it. There's places around the country that uh, that people can guide, of course, either waterfowl hunting or fishing. Uh, I think of Lake Sinclair, there's quite a few guides up there, and uh, a lot of the folks that waterfowl hunt around Chesapeake Bay, you know, still guide and take people, but Real Foot Lake is a place where you can make a full-time living year-round, and that's pretty unique. Hey folks, I want to tell you about a brand new reel and gun oil created by my friend Jeff Milam called 80 Below. Jeff, tell me a little bit about the product. 80 Below is a product that's built to really withstand mother nature. Anything it throws at it, minus 80 degrees on the cold side and uh, up to 465 high side. Really, if you like to uh, hunt cold weather or fish in cold weather, it's an excellent product. 80 Below gun and reel oil. You gotta have this if you hunt and fish. This segment is brought to you in part by BNM Poles, the leading crappie pole in the world. Visit bnmpoles.com. And Vortex Optics. Life happens, which is why Vortex products come with an unlimited lifetime warranty. Visit vortexoptics.com. It got good and cool last night. You see me in a sweatshirt sitting there shaking. <laughs> and uh, look at old Hazel the Goose on the log over there. And she's even out of the water because it's cool on her feet. Hey folks, welcome back to Legends of the Outdoors TV. I'm here with Billy Blakely from Blue Bank Resort. And Billy, you got something special coming up August the 20th of 2022. Something that I think is very deserving. Tell us a little bit about what's gonna happen. Well, evidently I'm going into the legend of the Outdoors Hall of Fame. You, yes, you are, my friend. And no one that I think deserves it any more than you. Billy has been a lifelong guide here on uh, Real Foot Lake, uh, both waterfowl hunting and fishing, as we talked a while ago. But uh, I know we're going to fish for something pretty special tomorrow here on Real Foot Lake. We'd come here to crappie fish, but you're catching a different species. Yes, sir. I've been wearing them catfish out, and we're going to try them in the morning. I don't know what this cold front will do to them, but I believe we'll still catch some anyway. Now, are these blue cats, channel cats, willow cats, flatheads? What kind of catfish are you Mostly catching? channel cat. Mostly channel cats. Yep. Them are Nine. the ones that are good to eat. Good eating catfish. Yeah. But it'll be, it'll be a lot of fun. We're going to look for them cormorant wherever we find them sitting in the trees. 
we're going to fish on her. I see. Well, we can't wait. What are some of the highlights of your guide career? I know you've got several. Well, I've, like you say, I've guided some of the biggest names in bass fishing and everything it is. And one of my most favorite stories has to do with Bill Dent. This happened about 30 years ago. I get a phone call from a guy and he says, I picked the phone up. I'm Bill Dent. I want to come up and do a, you help me do a TV show. Show me where the gold is. And I said, yeah, okay, click. <laughs> now, this is what somebody's all since as a kid wanting to meet this man. Right. He calls wanting to do right. a TV show. It didn't seem real to me. So I get a call right back. He said, I'm telling you, this is Bill Dance. I want to do you to help me do a TV show. Click. <laughs> <laughs> and then an old friend of ours, Tommy Aiken, called and he says, When he calls you again, don't you hang up on him. That's Bill Dance. <laughs> I said, like, Oh, really? <laughs> and that went on. That stuck with me for a while. That's pretty funny. <laughs> You know, I've got a great Bill Dance story. I had, uh, back when I used to guide the pheasant hunting up in South Dakota, I guided Johnny Majors, the coach of UT Knoxville, yes. the UT Vols. And of course, I'm a big Vols fan, so it was a great highlight to get to uh, spend time with Johnny. And one day we were talking while we were in South Dakota after we had uh, gotten finished hunting, and he told me that Bill Dance was one of his childhood friends. He'd actually been a really good friend of his younger brother's. He, and he said, uh, man, I wish I could talk to him. I hadn't talked to him in about eight years. Well, some other guys walked up and was talking to us that was in Johnny's group. And I just flipped the phone open and called Bill. And I said, Bill, I said, uh, I got a guy here that says he knows you. And I just wanted to see if he did. And he said, who is it? I said, uh, you know, a John Majors. He said, Johnny Majors? I said, yeah. He said, can I talk to him? I said, hey, coach. <laughs> Bill Dance is on the phone, wants to talk to you. He said, you don't have Bill Dance on the telephone. I said, well, here you go. He talked to him for 30 minutes. He turned to them other guys, and he said, he got Bill Dance on the telephone. But, you know, Bill has been a, a great friend of mine as well. And uh, I know you and I, of course, we, we've got it, a lot of the same people over the years. And, yep. and another legend Outdoors Hall of Fame member besides Bill Dance you're talking about is Tommy Aiken. You know, Tommy was instrumental in my guide career, and I know he was yours too. Oh, yeah. I was going to ask you um, when you started your career as a guide. When I was 14 years old, started oh, yeah. guiding for uh, Mike, Mike Hayes and his family. They're off a dock one, one day here, one day there, and it just kept growing from there. You said uh, something earlier today talking about my college bass fishing program. You made the statement that if they'd have had fishing in college, you'd, have, <laughs> you'd still be there. I'd still be in college. <laughs> Well, I'm glad they didn't have fishing in college because I wouldn't be sitting with a legend right now. Uh, or maybe you'd be a professional bass fisherman, yeah. but, uh, but I wouldn't get to fish with you near as much as I do no. on Real Foot Lake. So I'm right where I want to be. I'm right where I need to be. Well, you've had a great career, and I know that you've enjoyed it. It's a legendary career for certain, and uh, I look forward to getting on the water with you again, Billy. Hey, folks, come on back after these commercials. We're going to be right here with Abby Joe, myself, Gary Mason, on Legends of the Outdoors TV. Hey folks, I want to introduce you to a brand new product created by my friend Steve Mosley. Steve, BioProGreen was created by you. Tell us a little bit about what it does and why. BioProGreen is made from a specialized group of products that helps enhance your food plot. It increases the protein, it increases the biomass, and it will help draw wildlife to your food plot. BioProGreen will enhance your food plots and help bring wildlife to your property. This segment is brought to you in part by Paris Henry County Chamber of Commerce. For more information, visit parisTNChamber.com. And Mossberg. Safety and safe firearm handling is everyone's responsibility. Visit Mossberg.com. Hello folks, welcome back to Legends Outdoors TV and I want to welcome a good friend of mine, Miss Lindsay Freeland. Lindsay, 
Great to have you on the show. Lindsay is the director for the Chamber of Commerce here in Old Bine County, which Real Foot Lake sets in part. Tell us a little bit about the county and, and about the lake. This beautiful venue that we have, the Quake Lake, as some people like to call it, formed by the earthquake of 1812, which is now the hunting and fishing capital mecca in the area of the region, and people come from all over the world. And in a county of 30,000 people, you know, it's amazing that we'll have a million visitors come through at the state park next door to us. So we just love to host people here, um, get them down to the lake, get them around Obion County, and now we have new hotels and lots of lodging venues and places for people to stay and have fun. You also have uh, one of the best places to buy hunting stuff. Final Flight Final Outfitters. Flight Outfitters. Yes. Yep. So the Powers Brothers, you know, as a side gig to farming, they love to hunt so much, they decided to start selling decoys out of an enclosed trailer and fast forward and they have a 30,000 square foot gun, decoys, clothing, and everything in between. And even if you don't hunt, and fish, you can just go buy nice clothes that you like to wear. Well, my wife said it was the, uh, the biggest store that she'd ever been in that had hunting and fishing stuff in it because she could have, she'd have to dial me on the telephone to get me if I was on one end, she's on the other. So. Not only so big, but carries like 72,000 different SKUs of items. Uh, we love coming to Old Bine County. We can't wait to come back. We know we're going to be here a couple of times during duck season, and we hope to see you then. And we'll go spend a little time, if you'll allow it, at Discovery Park of America. Absolutely. Thanks, Gary. Thanks for coming. Hey, folks, we're here at Discovery Park of America in Union City, Tennessee, O'Bion County, and Abby. I want to tell you what the tie-in to the park is with Real Foot Lake because this is a very special and unique place. Mr. Robert and Miss Jeannie Kirkland of Kirkland Stores built this for all the folks in America to come and enjoy. Wow. We're standing here at the Real Foot Lake display and we've got some of the duck calls and goose calls that was made and manufactured right here in this community in Sandburg, Tip Tiptonville, all around the Real Foot Lake area. And of course, pictures of the beautiful beauty of Real Foot Lake. Also here in the Discovery Park of America, they got one of uh, America's only earthquake simulators. It simulates the earthquake that was that formed Real Foot Lake in 1811 and 1812. So, wow, that's really cool. Uh, we're probably not going to get to see the earthquake simulator now, but we're going to go see some more exhibits here in Discovery Park. Maybe Joe, this next display is one of my favorite exhibits in Discovery Park of America as it's the American Indian display with thousands of Indian artifacts including spearheads, arrowheads. You know the Indians lived here prior to the earthquake which caused Real Foot Lake and caused the Mississippi River to run backwards in 1811 and 1812. So they were pretty much the only folks living here when the earthquake happened as well. There were a few white settlers in the region but most of them was across the Mississippi River and on up toward Hayti, Missouri, and St. Louis. The American Indians that lived here around the Mississippi River region uh, were here. They were hunting and they were fishing to make a living and trapping. And so they were uh, the first settlers to be here was the American Indians. Maybe we're standing here in front of the picture of David Crockett. Now, a lot of people call him David Crockett, but he was one of the most famous early settlers of Tennessee. The last place he lived before he died at the Alamo was in Rutherford, Tennessee, and there's still a cabin there dedicated to him and to his mother who lived there. But David Crockett was one of the most famous Tennesseans of our time. Also a hero of mine when I was a kid growing up because every kid wanted to wear a coonskin cap and play <laughs> Davy Crockett, you know, uh, Fess Parker played in the movie and also on the television show playing, portraying Davy Crockett. So now I want to take and show you something that was very special to Real Foot Lake, and that's a Real Foot Lake boat. And I'll tell you some of the special things about that. So let's awesome. move right around the corner. Let's go see it. Maybe we're standing in front of something that's very unique to Real Foot Lake and to this area. This is a Real Foot Lake stump jumper boat. They were built here at Real Foot Lake for many, many years. These boats were used to waterfowl hunt and to fish. They started out with no motors. The oar locks on these boats are the only reverse oar locks in the world, as far as I know. 
Got a little one cylinder motor in it that turned the prop later on as they designed these boats to have a motor in them. And they were called, as I said a while ago, they were called stump jumpers because they would ease over the stumps of Real Foot Lake and slide off and they could keep on going. And there's lots of stumps. Yeah, they were used for everything from waterfowl hunting to fishing and even some commercial netting. Uh, so they're very, very unique to the region. If you see one of these boats out anywhere in America, I promise you, it come from Real Foot Lake. You know, I don't have one of those at my house, but I wish I did. Well, folks, we're in the tire at Discovery Park of America. Abby, this is one of the tallest places in Obine County. It's and it feels tall. We're overlooking the whole 50 acres of Discovery Park of America. And what a beautiful sight it is. It is beautiful. I-69 corridor is coming right by here. And Mr. Kirk Kirkland and them knew that this was going to happen. That's one of the reasons they chose this site. For those folks that would like to visit, go online, www.discoveryparkofamerica. Hey, and be sure and check out Real Foot Lake over in the western part of Old Bine County. You'll be glad you did. This episode was brought to you in part by Hybrid Light. Durable, environmentally friendly, and guaranteed for life. Visit hybridlight.com. And Sheffield Financial, specialized equipment financing for work, play, and everything in between. Visit sheffieldfinancial.com.